knees from a bent knee position. And depending on the table you have, you have to figure out, you know, what do you want to do with this with the uh, the ankle rest? Because you want her at about 70 degrees. You don't want her over flex to 90 because that tightens up the joint. So right about 70. I'm actually going to bring this in just a bit. Right about there. And I need to stabilize this. I can kneel on it. I can act, I can sit on it, but I'm not going to because these bars right here we do not want to bend. So in this case, I'm just going to simply stabilize by kneeling on her foot. If you have a flat bench, you can actually sit on the foot. Many people do. I find the eyes of her knees and I poke her in the eyes with my thumbs. I just grab lightly across the back of the calf. I'm going to pull P to A, spring, spring. I'm going to push A to P, spring, spring. Pain there, there. So it does look like a drawer sign, doesn't it? And in fact, you are testing those ligaments. But in this case, the test is designed to test for joint elasticity and if there's pain associated with that. We're looking for joint restriction. Yeah, Mike? The force A to P is from the heel of your hand. Not I'm from basically the using my thin R's with that instead of poking her with my thumbs. So it's, I come in through here, spring, spring, and then I pull with my fingers, my hand, spring, spring. So it's this, push, push, and it's here, pull, pull. Then I'm going to go and, go and do uh, internal external rotation. Looks very similar, but first thing I'm going to do is pre-position her foot. She's now in internal rotation, pre-position, so I'm going to do internal rotation. Here's the change. Here's her tibial tuberosity. I'm going to use that as a lever. I'm going to slide in and then reinforce that. Slide in, take out the skin slack, a little bit more with the joint slack, and spring, spring. Anything there? Turn the foot the other way. Now I'm going to do external rotation. I'm actually going to sw switch my stabilization. Slide in onto the tibial tuberosity, skin slack, joint slack, spring, spring. Pain there? Okay. So one more time on the other side so you can see it from over here. Uh, so, just about ready to pull off the clip here. Um, I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm here, I'm here, all right? I've got her femur on the table, find the eyes of the knee, take out the slack. Spring, spring. Any pain or discomfort? Foot on the table. Stabilize it. Thumbs in the eyes. Push, push. Anything there? Pull, pull. Anything there? Pre-position. Slide in. On the lateral side, do internal rotation. Skin slack, joint slack. Spring, spring. Anything? Come the other way. Switch my stabilization. Skin slack, joint slack. Spring, spring. Anything? There you go. What's your context for that again? For the rotation, uh, I'm going to get both thumbs on the lateral side of the tuberosity. So I can spring one way, and then I would come in the other way and go the other direction. So I'm using that tuber tibial tuberosity as a lever to create my twist. And the rest of my hand is just softly coming around with it. Let's try it. Here we go. So.